Hi, this is Big Face from Big Face Robotics. Here to show you my latest robot project. It's been a long time since I've done a video and an even longer time since I've spoken one. So this should be fun. This that you're looking at is, is my latest robot project. A humanoid robot head, desktop robot with a an attached robot arm. I'll take you through the main parts of the of the robot to show you some of the features and then we'll probably look at the the next steps to to complete in this project and I'll show you some of the the fabrication steps in in doing that so this has been a, a work in progress for a few months now I don't get as much time to do these projects as I'd like but I've been slowly chipping away the initial inspiration was a to build a desktop social robot, one that could interact, one that could recognise faces, change facial expressions, and that is still the plan. But I also elected to add a a robot arm onto this as well, to allow for some more interaction with the the user and and the environment. So I started work with the robot head, and as you can see, all three D printed parts, the base with a, a servo for rotation. There's another servo in here that does the head roll, if you like, and then another one here in behind that does the head tilt. So I get a good range of motion and some quite nice expressions that the robot can, can do with the head tilt, rather than just, or with the head um, roll, should I say, rather than just a pan tilt arrangement. You can see the TFT, I think it's an Adafruit 2.2 inch TFT screen mounted in the head, currently displaying a smiley face and a webcam mounted just above that. Um, so having a look at the, the back. Not a great deal to it, but again, as I said, we get some quite nice expressions from it. Um, pan, tilt and, and roll. Uh, did have a mount here for an accelerometer f for a later date, perhaps. I did some, some playing around with that, but it's uh, it's not in use at the moment. The servos are just standard hobby servos, but I have connected into the wiper on the potentiometer on each of them and taken that back to the analog input for posi closed loop position control. Uh, that brings us on to the control side of things. Also mounted on the board is a 6 volt sealed lead acid battery, an Arduino Mega and a custom made interface board, just breaking out the connections for the servos, the screen and the analogue inputs. I decided I wanted a, an arm to accompany the head for for various reasons and, and this has been a work in progress for a a little while now. The base houses a servo with a, a gear on it, 3 all, again all 3D printed and again with all the servos uh, potentiometers feeding back to the Arduino. Um, an integrated gear on the bottom of this base plate just to gear up the servo a little bit and a few bearings on the bottom that sit down into the housing. And a similar setup on the first joint there, with a few bearing, a bearing housed in each side of this arm, and gearing just to up the torque output a little bit at the expense of some of the range of motion. But I think there's plenty for this project. The next step is to complete the arm, but I have written some software. For controlling the robot, uh, just a Python script sending out some serial data, which the Arduino will, will listen for certain commands, uh, alphanumeric commands that will tell it what angle to move each of the servos to. So I've got that running on the PC here. Not much to see. You can see some of the types of commands that are being sent. I can move some sliders to move the head or type manually type in commands to move the uh, 
move the head, the arm, and change the facial expression. So I'll just show you the head moving as I move the sliders. So we've got the, the head tilt, the head roll, and head rotate there. And I can also send them all back home. I've got a few facial expressions programmed in. Just a happy face, a sad face, and an angry face for if someone upsets him. And back to happy, that's better. The arm at the moment, I'll have to type a few commands in to get that to move. Because I haven't put the sliders up yet, but you should see the base rotate one way and the other. And I can lower the first joint down and send it all back home again. So that's where we are at the moment. As I said, the next step is to do some work to the arm. So probably over the top of this bit here I'll uh, I'll play some of the fabrication steps in getting this to where it is. is a piece of aluminium box uh, mounts onto the lower arm and I machined out a nice slot there for uh, the servo to fit through and drilled the holes for mounting. Obviously this has got, got some finishing to do. I've got a little Clark mill I've got a small Clark mill that I use for cutting these sorts of things. That was the main reason that I bought it, really. I don't do much sort of 3D milling, but it's very handy for making things like this. Um, again, I'll show you the some of the steps in, in cutting that out. So the plan is, the servo fits in nicely into that slot. And a 3D printed a spacer just to align the servo in the middle. Again, I'll overlay the printing of this little time-lapse video. assembled that puts the servo spaced out nicely I've got another 3d printed part with another bit, bit of aluminium box section that slots onto it which I'll probably drill through and pin at some point and the idea is is that that will mount? The idea is that that will mount onto the servo inside, centred. No torque increase on that joint because it's not going to be doing a lot of heavy lifting. And if I do need to, I can gear that up at a later date. I might have to redesign it slightly. I'm going to have to cut some slots out of here. 
to allow full range and I might even cut some of this out as well so it can actually have almost a 180 degree motion. That's then going to sit on top of here and then maybe round some corners off and, uh, and, and paint it up. The idea for the end of the arm currently is to have some sort of touch sensitive attachment which I could swap out at a later date for a gripper perhaps but for now of an old project I designed this if it will focus come on which is a custom PCB board with some tack switches again don't know if you can actually see see them in there but there's four of them with a few screws here as well with a few bolts to hold them hold it in place hold this end part in place as soon as anything presses this hand from any direction it will trigger the the switches so I know that the robots touch something I'm likely to have something similar mounted onto here again so the robot can interact with the environment okay so after a bit more machining which I'll probably show here and then come back to this joint on the robot arm I rounded off this piece of aluminium box just for looks and you can see the, the joint moving on the servo in there it's got a reasonable range of motion And as I said, the first step will be something similar to this on the end of there, just for detecting objects that it's touched. Possibly a gripper added on later. I'm going to get a bit of sandpaper on that, and then a coat of paint, probably black to match the rest of it. And uh, then I'll be starting work on the attachment for the end of the arm to detect when it's touched something. So, come back next time. I want to be making more of these videos a lot more frequently, maybe one, one a week or so, and keep everyone up to date on where I am. And following on from that, probably some work on the software then. So, until next time, thank you very much.